I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. God wanted holy people, and instead, he got you. Me too. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love our videos, if you love us passing on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Buddy, do you know we're recording? Because... Not altogether sure that that's the way you want to be seen on camera. And get the app, Apple, iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things. The youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. Hey, buddy, look over here. The parable of the party that no one shows up to. That's what's going on in the, was, was what happened on Sunday's gospel. Um, a guy gave a party. This is Luke 14. And he sent his servants out to tell those who were invited, um, come, everything is ready. But they began to make excuses one after another. I bought a field. Please grant me an excused absence. I got to go and see it. I have five new yoke of oxen. Got to test drive those bad boys. Please excuse me. I have married a girl. Can't come. Wedding plans and all. Please excuse me. Now, some of those reasons were even biblically based reasons that you could miss a party. Um, but nevertheless, when they all respond in the resoundingly negative, RSVP the master gets mad. So he says, go out and get the cripple and the lame. We've done that already, sir. And there's still room, says the servant. Well, okay, go to the highways and the byways and, um, and pick up and compel folks to come in. For I tell you, none of those who are invited first shall taste of my banquet. So, this is a parable about a God who wants to have a party, wants to have people. And the people that he invites, the holy ones, the children of Israel, all RSVP in the negative. They're too busy. They got stuff going on. They got a life. Unlike going to a pathetic party with a God who can invite them. Now, when they can't come, he goes and invites the crippled and the lame, which that seems like a type of person that, the, that God would be. Um, he's going to want those people there and he's going to want them. Oops, that was a bad toss. That was also a bad toss. But even with the crippled and the lame there, there's still room. So what then? Let me tell you about the people who go to the highways, who are hanging out in the highways and the byways. These are the people on the side of the road, the people on the side of the interstate, the people that you pass by and act like you're not going to see. Okay? These are the abused, the molested. These are the ones that are hurt and divorced, cheated on. These are parents who hate their kids and kids who hate their parents. Um, and parents who have utterly failed. These are academic dropouts and financially bankrupt people. These are those who do such awful things that if anyone knew, they would never even stop to think of picking them up. These are the mentally ill and um, those that act like, uh, like they've got it all together, but in really actuality, everybody knows they're a few shy, few fries short of a happy meal. These are the hot messes of the world who have secrets, awful ones. These are the racists and those who have been discriminated against. These are who struggle from, with identity issues and gender and same-sex attraction. These are the people who are deplorable, grumpy trolls. Mean, grumpy old trolls that Dora the Explorer won't go and get. And the basket of deplorables that Hillary doesn't want to see. These are released felons. 
and people that when you stand next to them in church or you're like, mm, if only I could get to a different pew, but this is my pew. I put my name on it and that person has to sit by me now. These are the people who look at, at um, horoscopes to figure out what's going on and then blame the full moon or Mercury being in retrograde for their conduct. These are gossipaholics, porn addicts, and people who are addicted to drugs. These are those who are complete and utter failures in this world. Broken people who have nothing that they can hold up before God as saving them. And if you haven't figured out this yet, these are the likes of people like you and me. We have received the invite to his dance, to his party. We don't deserve it. We didn't earn it. In fact, we only get it because the people who were holy and should be there stood him up. We are those who receive Jesus, his holy life and his bitter sufferings and death. And by his death, we are welcomed into the family of God. Notice we are not welcomed into the family of God because of something we did or didn't do. We are not welcome into the family of God because of our great change. He had those great, he had people who made great changes. They didn't come. We are those who have made utter failures of their life. Look at me. I'm such a bad person. I got to get paid to go to church. These are the ones for whom Jesus came. You are those for whom Jesus came to live his life and to die your death and to present you to himself wholly. And if all you've heard from this is that I've listed a bunch of sins that I never told you to be sorry for, then you don't know the people who I listed. Those people, they know their sin. They know their mistakes. And they look up at heaven and wonder if God loves them or not. He does in the suffering and death of Christ. And in repentance and faith, they're saved in front of people who've been holy their whole lives, who've been great their whole lives and look at others and go, eh, maybe God will love you if you change. To his supper, he has invited you. It's ready. He's come and take it on your sins so that he might give to you his righteousness. He has come and become your sin so that you might be the very righteousness of God. He has come and taken on your unholiness so that you would receive the sweet swap of his holiness in return. You are saved only in him. I'm Pastor George Borkart. My buddy already left. And this has been another Higher Things video short.